I learned a lot from Christian. Uh, he's a very uh, smart person. So I think that's the biggest thing I got from him as far as preparing for games, you know, just being mentally ready for games, things like that. But anything I would tell a young quarterback is just to listen to Coach Christian. You know, take the coach. He's a, he's a crazy guy. Y'all may see him. He looks real nice on TV and all that kind of stuff. But he's extreme. Like, he got, he got pissed off at us today. You know what I mean? So, and we still had a good practice. You know what I mean? So, you got to understand that, you know, he's going to be like that and just continue to work hard. He's fine. Coach Fisher came around, uh, the receiver coach before, I think Little Bobby, he didn't, he didn't really like me, I don't know why. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was more, more Coach Fisher, but uh, Coach Andrews was my recruiting coach. He was doing the right. Go ahead. Okay, what do you guys do before the game? Do you guys all like hang out and do something? Or what do you guys just try to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't get allowed to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we all do different things though, like get ourselves prepared for the game. We also we have to meet in like a lot of meetings before the game, but we do a little bit different things. They'll tell you what they do. I uh, pretty much I like to get in the hot tub and relax for like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, before the game, you know, Burke will rule me, so I just hang out and listen to Burke. <laughs> <laughs> Preparing for the ACC championship this year, or are you putting your concentration on the 2012 season? Uh, really, what we're focused on, Chris Fisher's talked to us um, all like for the past three weeks, and just being one and though at the end of the week. Uh, you know, right now we're 0 0, and by Saturday night, we want to be 1 and 0. Yeah. And then starting next week, we want to be 1 and 0, and that's what we're focused on. Focused on one, you know, one game a week, and not worried about anything else. You know, we got to worry about the week. That's what we're doing right now. If the next championship comes, it comes. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. We don't worry about it right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got to listen to the same song before the game. Unless I mess up something the game before, I got to change it. What's on? What's on? Before before I was able to design my own cleats, um, I got I used to color them. I colored them like jet gold uh, and like the surrounding it garnet. But now I have garnet gold cleats. So I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, 
games. We usually have days off, but we'll practice Sunday. We'll practice Sunday, so we won't have a day off. We'll play Saturday, practice Sunday, practice Monday, practice Tuesday, a leave Wednesday, and we'll play Thursday. So it's not really a day off, but like Friday and Saturday we'll have a day off. It's probably our longest week to have off weekend. But uh, it's like back to back to back after we finish this game we're about to play. <laughs> My question is for, wait, Ava, where did you say you were from again? Jacksonville. Okay, for you three, since you guys are from, like, Florida, I went to the ACC championship last year, and it was really cold, like, it almost snowed. Is it hard for you three to, like, adjust to, like, cold temperatures while playing football? Because that was a night game. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think it plays to their advantage to a certain extent, looking back at it. And, I mean, you know you're going to have to play cold games, a different type of weather, playing football, but it wasn't our type of weather, you know what I mean? Yeah. And our type of weather would be like hot, you know, and then having to sweat. But uh, it was tough. But knowing that, it's just got to play ball, but it was tough. Um, it was tough for me, too, because before the game, you know, I had on the ski mask. <laughs> 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 and everything, you know, trying to get right for the game. But once I went out there, I couldn't run with all the stuff on, so I had to go back in the locker room, listen to the music again, and get excited. <laughs> Try to warm my body up. I didn't play in the ACC championship last year because I was uh, hurt from a red shirt here. But I played a few other cold games. Uh, it, it, you got to keep going. You got to keep your body going. Yeah, make sure you just keep all the fluids flowing in your body. And uh, if, you get, if, you, if you get tightened up, you just take any kind of time off and just worry about something else. If you get, get caught slipping, somebody come hit you. You get even in a worse position. <laughs> Our thing is, though, those cold games, we do have, like, benches that are really, really hot, and we have, like, hand warmers. So it's not as bad, but when you step off a bench, it gets pretty bad. <laughs> it's not as bad when you sit down. What do you guys like to party like? <laughs> <laughs>
man. Why is the NC State? Yes. Like, they're just rude. They're like really, really rude. Y'all should be, I'm not trying to say y'all should be rude, but y'all should be rude. It's <laughs> <laughs> like 34 year old ladies one year, and they're, they're, they're like, all right, their stands are like really close to the field, and this, this old lady was just cussing at me one time. <laughs> it's crazy. I remember my freshman year, they was talking all this trash. But I mean, everybody, every away team is the same. I think Clemson, they were getting after us a little bit too. I didn't play that much, but they were getting after Clint kind of bad. It was, it, was, it was funny after the fact, but during the fact, it wasn't funny. But uh, yeah, I would say Clemson as well. Our uh, fresh receiver just came in the room, Rashad Green. Thank <laughs> you.